Hello everybody, XP Gamer here and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time, we found out that the Mirror of Twilight was shattered. And we also learned a bit about Ganondorf and saw just what he looks like in this game, in case any of you didn't know what he looked like in this game after like 10 years. But aside from that, we basically went on a bunch of questing to find the Reek Fish. We'll catch the Reek Fish and get its scent uh, for Wolf Link. So now, this time, we're going to use that scent to scale Snow Peak and hopefully find the beast. Oh, I can't turn into Wolf Link just yet because those Zoras are right there. Also, I kind of want to see what Ashe has to say, if she's still even here. Maybe she left, I don't really know. Alright, I guess Ashe's not here. So we're going to turn into our wolf link now. Also, yes, I know, part of our, uh, <clears throat> the real episode 27 got corrupted, and <clears throat> therefore part 28, yesterday's episode, well, not... I don't know if it's yet. Yeah, I think yesterday's episode uh, turned into the new part 27. Also, that water, as you'd expect, is very, very cold, so don't go into it. Um, so you missed out on Star Lord, on <clears throat> Death, on Death Sword, on all that stuff, because I was a fool. But don't worry, guys, because now if we go to save game. I made a backup file, so just in case any recordings get corrupted, um, that won't be an issue anymore, so yeah. What we're doing right now, we're simply scaling the mountain following the scent, and man, I love this place. I love how you can barely see, like, anything. Also, there's a Poe. Like, the, your visibility is just so low. And then there are these white wolf ghosts which attack you all the time too. They're they're pretty they're pretty cool, pretty annoying as well though. Uh, but as long as you keep dashing, they really can't hurt you. Okay, where'd the scent go? Oh, it's up there. I'm running too far ahead. I'm losing the scent. All right. Follow the red or orange. Follow the orange mist scent. Uh, gotta get up that hill. So this way. I'd presume. Pretty sure you can dig under one of these trees. I'm assuming it's the one right next to us. But there's nothing useful under there. I think, I think the only actual purpose for it is a choo-choo. Or a chew in this game. I don't know what they're called, but uh... Just for like refilling anything you need. But aside from that, I don't think they're all that useful. I, the cave, I mean. I don't think the cave's all that useful. It doesn't have anything that we specifically need. Okay, I think I went the wrong way. Yes, up this way is where we need to go. Alright. Just want to check every corner of this place and seriously just once again look at this area I love it so dang much this might be like my favorite area in the game like looks wise because there's really not much going on uh, all you're really doing is scaling it there's not much to find here besides pose but um like looks wise I just love this place we have ice keys which can be very annoying I didn't even mean to do that, but yeah, that's what you have to do, just, that is presumably a dead end, but just bash your skull into it and you're fine. Alright, over here we have a Howling Stone. This is the one main thing that I was looking around for, because I didn't want to miss this. That was so off. The 
the beginning was right. Then it's down, up, so, okay. So I practically got it. Whoops. Aw, oh, it doesn't keep it. Okay, got it. There we go. I don't know why I hit back there instead of just... I don't know. Whatever, but we got it. I believe this is the sixth, right? We're almost there, I think. I actually forget where the last uh, one is. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it's, it's someone who never finished Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time. Uh, I don't know many of these. I'm sure most of you probably know what that song is. I don't. I really need to finish Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. It's just, I have the 3DS version of Majora's Mask. I just prefer not to... What? She literally just repeated information I already knew about. But anyways, he's in the graveyard, and what was I saying? Yeah, just, I would prefer not to play a game on the 3DS, especially a Zelda game. But like, the, the versions on the N64, I got them on Virtual Console. It's just, I don't know, the, the controls and everything, it's just really, really challenging for me since I didn't really grow up with them. This is the right way, right? No, this is the right way. But I really do need to finish them sometime. Because, you know, like, there's nothing... I've heard nothing but good things about them. Like, as to be expected for something like Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. That was a loud crack of my water bottle, but, uh... Yeah, I really need to finish them. Alright, so in here we have some weird ice things. As you'd expect, try not to make contact with them. They don't like hugs or anything of the sorts. Uh, we got some of those. We haven't gotten, we haven't gotten slingshot pellets in a while. I mean, we have the bow now, so there's really no use for slingshot pellets. They really have absolutely no use whatsoever unless we ha just so happen to run out of arrows but that's not happening anytime soon we can shield bash a keys i guess we can i mean it doesn't do much but the option is there wrong button all right make things a bit quicker on myself. There we go. Okay, he's ignoring us. Are those the fingerprints of the almighty beast? Well, I guess they're handprints, but whatever. Oh, those are some big handprints, though. Alright, so as you saw, you saw the map for a split second there. It's, um quite linear from here on out, but you will see why in a minute. Also, there's these guys. That's why I didn't go back to get that wolf immediately. Because, well, the hero shade or whatever you want to call him, but uh, as soon as we get this warp, I'll head back there. That way, you know, we just have a really, really quick way to warp back there if we ever need it. 
Okay, I, I knew there were three of you. Ah, oh, dang it, Ice Keys. See, this is why they're so annoying. Really, any ice enemies are annoying, but the keys are just so horrible because they're hard to hit. Not to mention just how they can freeze you, which sucks. But yeah, now the visibility is finally high, and the beast is right up there. But, before we do whatever we're going to do with the beast, um, let's stall a bit and go get that hidden skill before I forget. Because I will forget if I don't do it now. I'm very forgetful with stuff like this. Okay. Once again, I don't want... Her spotting me. Ah, oh, I thought I got it again. Dang it, alright, whatever. Three times in a row would have been amazing. It's also a pipe dream, though. I don't think I've ever gotten it three times in a row. Twice? It's happened before. But... Alright, anyways... Here we are back in the graveyard. Very run down, actually. I mean, like, you'd think they'd at least care a bit more. Also, what's here? I can't believe I didn't notice this the first few times I came here. It's probably just a stamp. I doubt it's anything useful. Alright, well, that works. It's better than a stamp, in my opinion, honestly. Because, you know, stamps are useless. Alrighty. What is your sixth skill? We meet again. There are but a few hidden skills left for me to teach you. I have warned you of this before, but if you fail to execute the hidden skill I am about to teach you, your life may be forfeit. Do you still wish to master this skill? I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last secret I taught you. The mortal draw. Now then, come at me! Right, yeah, that's one of the easiest ones, but like, I, like we stated a few episodes ago, it leaves you quite vulnerable. The jump strike! Let it be shewn into your mind. Um... I don't remember exactly how this one works, quite honestly. Yeah, it inflicts great damage, but none would call it effective against multiple foes. To perform the jump strike, prepare a jump attack, but focus power in your blade. Oh! So it's a charged up jump attack. Okay. It's a charged jump attack. Alright. I actually completely forgot about this one. Whoa, so that's why it's useful. Alright. Alright, cool. And the other two fade out of existence. Hmm, impressive. Do not forget the timing for releasing the power you just felt. The sixth hidden skill, the jump strike, has been passed on. That only leaves one hidden skill left. There is but one hidden skill left for me to pass on to you. You are already endowed with the strength required of the hero. Do you not already feel the courage granted by this strength as it guides you step by step toward your true enemy? Believe in your strength. Continue to push forward unflinchingly and without straying from your path. May we meet again. In another time and place. 
<laughs> wrong game, wrong LP. That was the last LP. God, Super Paper Mario feels like forever ago. I mean, granted, I'm kind What am I doing, actually? <laughs> granted, I'm kind of cursed with Zelda LPs. Wind Waker, my first... Well, I mean, that was my first LP, so it made sense for it to have a few breaks here and there. But that one took like six months. And this one, I started either late March or very early April. And it's still only like... Only on episode 28, almost to 30. Alright, where are we going? Right here, yeah. Honestly, if I had to guess... Another 15, 20 episodes would be good for this series, I'm assuming, I'm guessing. I say it'd be a bit under Wind Waker. Which makes sense, considering the first few of Wind Waker's episodes were only 15 minutes, because that was before I even had my channel verified. Anyways, here's the beast. Oh, whoa ho! I heard ruckus and all. Just a human. I see humans not often, huh? Why human come to snows? You on spiritual journey? You look for true self? Um, no. Huh? You look for mirror in such far away place. But you make good climb. And you lucky to meet me. I found shiny mirror piece. Same mirror you look for, huh? Huh? You come to house and see yourself. I caught fish. I make you hot meal at least. My house far away. We slide there, huh? Do like me. Come. This is why this place is so linear. The whole place is basically a snowboarding track. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna bash into this tree. And now... Snowboarding time! Aw, uh, you actually have to hit get on. So you can push forward on the control stick to, um move faster I think it works that way yeah and pull back to go slower hold a to crouch release it to jump and that's the basics of snowboarding whoa my bad luckily it just respawns somehow so as long as you don't fall off a cliff you're fine this controls a lot harder than I remember Maybe I'm just not used to it, I don't know. You can jump on these treetops for rupees and stuff. I, was that a 50? Alright, cool. Sadly, you just have the normal Snow Peak music playing right now. There is a, uh, later on in the game, you can race the Yeti, whose name I believe is Yeto. But, uh, you can actually race him and minigame music plays. I like it a lot better then, because, like, it's not so bland, but this is still really fun. You can see a mansion down there. That is the Yeti's house. And believe it or not, that house is to be the next dungeon. What? No! Are you... That happens way too often. That happens way too often. You wouldn't believe how many times that has happened to me. That's so stupid. That's the one thing I hate about this. Just that final turn. And how terrible it is. Are you... Why does this control so badly all of a sudden? Whatever. Oh, that sucks. Also, I don't think those ice keys have ever actually hit me. Well, I guess we can get more rupees. We aren't getting that one, though. Ah, that's the one thing I hate, and it just had to happen this time. There are some shortcuts, like, as you can see on the path. I could have taken a shortcut over this giant chasm, but... I'm not risking it. 
I think you might have to in the race, just because of how fast Yeto is. You have to learn to take the shortcuts, but right now we aren't on any time limit. We just need to make it down there without dying. Talking to you, final curve. I'm pulling back right now, because I don't want to... Can you... I swear, I swear to God. Okay, there. Jeez. Okay. So that was something. Here? What's with this guy? He's got a nice place for, for a beast, man. No, he really does. You have two pots out here, which both contain recovery hearts. I suggest getting those. Welcome to Snow Peak Ruins. So yeah, these, these people live in something portrayed as a ruins. <laughs> or ruins, I guess, not a ruins. So yeah. It, it looks a lot better from the outside. As you can see, there's a gaping hole in the ceiling. We got ghosts in here. Probably isn't the best place to be living. But anyways, that aside, we have a chew here. There's a, uh, do I have an empty bottle? I do not. I never noticed there was a picture of Queen Rutella in here. What are these pictures of? That's the sacred grove, that's Arbiter's grounds. No pictures over here, it appears. But there is a door. we make our way over there? Hook shot? Or er, claw shot? I keep forgetting it's called the claw shot in this game. Yeah, you can't claw shot chests in this game. So, this is essentially a dead end for now. Uh, we could go upstairs or we could go through this main door. Which leads to... Two? Uh... Sorry, I have sickness. Uh, come closer, huh? You cute little human. Husband told me you come. You want to look at Mira, huh? My husband found it, but it pretty thing, huh? But since I get Mira, I get sick. And then bad monsters appear. So many bad things happen since Mira. So we lock bedroom on third floor where it hangs, huh? Wait, I tell you where Key is. You got the map of the mansion. Agree? Yeah, so this is the dungeon map. Fever makes head blurry, but it probably here in the room marked by this symbol. Alrighty, so this female Yeti, whose name is, I believe, Yeta. Seriously, how do you move the map? How do you move the map? It literally has arrows saying you can move the map, but I use both sticks. The D-pad, nothing moves the map. But right now, can't even get up. Would you bring it to me, uh? Start with door right here. So yes, I really, really like this dungeon and how it's literally a house. Overrun by monsters, you can tell, like, there's this... There's a living room, which serves as... A kind of hub room because we'll be coming back here it's safe there's nothing bad in here and um she tells you that the third floor bedroom is locked and that's where the piece of the mirror of twilight is and she's saying that the key is where that flag is so we have nowhere to head but there that's really our only lead but um can we really trust a sick yeti anyways we head in here and here's Yeto. Oh, you! Wife look bad, huh? Not healthy since Mirror. So I make soup for her. 
Fish from Zora v Village are most nutritious. You tired, huh? You have some. It gives you energy. This is why I said pick up those hearts. This soup here is the only health recovery in the game. Uh, and right now, it's not a very good health recovery at all. I have two full bottles, one with this purple stuff from a chew, which I don't even know what it gives you. But, um, yeah, other than that, there are no health recoveries, no fairies, anything. So make sure you have bottles. If you ever need to, bottle that stuff up. Also, yes, this is an ice temple, so... Ice sliding puzzles will be a thing. Uh, do I have to melt this? Is that it? I guess not. Alright, well, let's stand on this first. Okay, that opens the door, so we need to get one of these blocks to there. Also, I apologize. I am not the best at ice puzzles. Or ice sliding. Yeah, so we don't have a way of melting these just yet, I don't think. Um, huh. that over that way <laughs> hmm oh I see what I can do all right so we're gonna shove that this way push it over that way over there then we push this right there. And that gives us a clean solution to push this onto that. My god, I hate ice physics too. And from there, bada bing, a bada boom. Alrighty. Uh, guess we'll just leave everything else in this room how it is. Because we really can't do anything else. And you can see we have some grates here. Another giant icy boy there. And we can dig under this. Leads to the other side of the room. And over here we have... Oh, we're outside. Cool. Yeah, you can see there is where we put the boss key. And I love how the middle of this uh, place had just a giant, like, open courtyard-ish esque room. Uh, however, there are these guys, so that I don't love. These guys can damage you greatly. And, you know, I already said, very limited on, um... You're very limited on health recoveries. So we have a chest here that was partially buried in the snow containing small key. I'm assuming. All right, I guess we can't enter doors as a wolf. We can't. You can enter certain doors as a wolf, I think. Not all of them. All right, so now we're on the other side of this place. We have these, which can slingshots kill you guys? No. I didn't think so. Alright, so you have to shoot these guys. Wait, do you seriously have to hit them, like, right in the eye, or can you stab them? Okay. You can stab them, it just... They take multiple hits and ricochet a lot. So, those enemies, as you might expect, can be very, very annoying. Alright. Alright. And we have three of them in here! Literally just target and slash wherever you can. Actually, this might have been a good place to use my uh, powered up jump attack, but eh, whatever. Okay, 
Nothing else in this room as far as I can tell. So, let's just keep going. I mean, the boss key is right there. But something's not right. I mean, considering we still have so much of the dungeon unexplored. Can we really trust this yeti? Is there nothing in this room? Okay. Oh, I forgot about these enemies. These guys suck. They do a lot of damage. And are overall just very, very annoying. I mean, luckily they do die to the normal Helm Splitter, but... Still very, very annoying if you're unprepared. Alrighty, let's go grab the boss key. I'm assuming that leads to that room we were already at. What's that portrait of? Arbiter's Grounds again. Okay, so they're all pretty much the same thing. Sacred Grove, Arbiter's Ground, Queen Rutella. That's not a boss key. That's a pumpkin from my hometown. What's this? This isn't right. She got the wrong location. Want to go back and try to get her to remember where the key is? So, yes. I knew something was up. We aren't getting the boss key that easily. Instead, we got a pumpkin. <laughs> so now you know why we're going to be heading back to the living room multiple times. It's probably going to take her a few times to remember where the boss key actually is. So with that, we made our way up Snow Peak and into the Snow Peak ruins. Found a pumpkin next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. We're going to head back to Yetta and see just what we can do with this thing. See you guys then.